it's me, Learn Again. Hi! So, um, this is a video that most of which I recorded like last weekend, um, on my birthday actually. Um, I turned 24 last Sunday on Mother's Day. Um, and because it was Mother's Day, I didn't really want to have a big party and everything. Cause it just didn't really feel right. Like, I think people should be spending the day with like their parents. So, um, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> So on that day, I wanted to do something special because it was my birthday, um, and I went somewhere that I really, really, really wanted to go visit for a really long time. Um, it's not super interesting. I think it's kind of interesting, but it's not, you know, it's not like a shrine or a temple or anything. So I'm going to show you um, like a still frame of, from one of like the uh, the videos that I shot that day, um, from some of the footage basically, and I want you to guess what you think it is, okay? Ready? Go. <laughs> Did you like my super awful tone deaf version of the uh, Jeopardy theme? Maybe. <laughs> so if you guessed that what you're looking at is not actually just a gate. Um, and maybe like a park on the other side or a house or something. What you're actually looking at is a gate leading to an ancient burial mound called a kofun. Um, kofuns are really, really common in Sakai City, um, which is where my host family lives and where I spend a lot of my time really. Um, and uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, uh, Lucidity used to do um, Japanese history for morons videos, and one of those was about the Kofun period. And in that video, she talked about Kofuns and how um, during that time that was what the people that were living in Japan used to do. Um, and they're found all over wherever the Kofun people used to live. Um, but they're, the vast majority of them are found in Sakai, like in Osaka Prefecture. But primarily in Sakai. Basically, when you're looking at them from the ground, they don't really look like anything. They really don't look like anything. They look like, you know, a hill or like just like a, like a random forest in the middle of nowhere or um, like a river and some trees or something. Like, it really doesn't look like much, but when you look at it from above, um, it's like this giant keyhole-shaped burial mound with a moat around it. <laughs> and so it's really spectacular when you're looking at it from above, but it's really not that interesting from the ground. Um, but if you did do like a Google search on Google Maps for Sakai City, um, it would basically take you right to an area that has kofuns, and you could see like all these kofuns all around this area, and including the one that I'm taking you to today. So in this video, <laughs> today in this video. So this kofun is the Nintokuryo. Um, Kofun, or the Daisen Kofun, or whatever you feel like calling it. It has a couple different names um, that they use interchangeably. Um, so this is like the Kofun that I went to see, and that's the biggest one. Um, they don't actually know who was buried there. They really don't, but they assume that it was like the Emperor Nintoku, who was supposedly Emperor at that time, but um, the Imperial family actually owns the Kohun, so no one is allowed to go in and really investigate. So they don't know with 100% certainty who it was that was buried there, but they just assume that it was this guy. <laughs> so, let's check out the Kohun! <laughs> so, um, this is still the Kohun. We just walked down this pathway. Um, but there's like this gate here, and there are two <laughs> little gatekeepers. Aren't they so cute? So cute! Hi, kitty. Hello, hello. I think he winked at me. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute little cats. <laughs> so um, I don't know if this is like the main entrance or not, but you're definitely not allowed to go in there. I don't think. So right now I'm on this uh, pedestrian bridge above some pretty busy streets, but you can see that, um, like this is the walkway we were on before, but all the way over there, all the way over there, into a, 
over, all the way over there is still the Kofun. Crazy, right? It's gigantic. And all the way over that way, too. <laughs> Crazy. But you can kind of see maybe a little bit of the shape from up here. Um, like this, I think, is part of like the like the rounded top part of the keyhole shape, and then it branches out over that on that not that, over there on that side, as well as over here on this side. Um, so that's that, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna try to take you guys to a um, observation tower. If it's still open, it's actually Sunday right now. <laughs> so if it's still open, um, I can take you there and I can show you from a height, this Kofun, so you can see like the shape of it and everything, which would be really cool. Really, really, really cool. All right, hopefully I will see you soon. Oh, there it is, the observation tower slash city hall. <laughs> this here is like a little description of what we're gonna see, but um, so it says here, that this is the Nintoku Kofun. And that's like the Nintoku tomb that we were just at. And that is this over here, this giant thing. So I guess you can't really, it's not high enough to see the whole keyhole shape, but this is the big one that we were just at. And you see this? That's another Kofun. And <laughs> this back here, that's another Kofun. Um, and I think there's, I don't know, there are definitely more scattered around. This is yet another coffin. So this is like the basic size and shape of um, the, the coffin as compared to the Great Pyramid and um, this first king emperor's mausoleum or however you say that. It was built 1600 years ago. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So this is, uh, there's like no description. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be like a video or something, but this is like a model of the city. Um, I assume it's as the city is now, um, but who knows. But this this is the big one, this is the Nintokuryo Kofun. And here's another Kofun, and another one, and another one, and another one over there. Um, and another one over here, um, but there are more like scattered around the whole area, but this is just the, uh, the Mozu Tumulus group. So um, this is like the north side apparently, and um, also apparently it says Osaka Jill. So apparently somewhere over in that direction is Osaka Castle, but I don't think it's clear enough out to see. Um, you can try. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, in this direction over here is Osaka City, which is quite close to where we are right now. So from the west, this is um, Osaka Bay out here. And there's like Owaji Island over there, Hawaji Shima Akashikaikyo Bridge. Um, Apparently there's a World Trade Center over here, too. <laughs> uh, USJ is over there. Lots and lots of cool stuff. And somewhere out there is the Waji Island. Yeah, I don't think you can see the, the bridge. But the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is like a really, really big bridge near Kobe. And it's really famous. It's not really that special. I've seen it on the train, but <laughs> it's a it's a big suspension bridge.
hope you really enjoyed my uh, trip that I went on to the Kofun. Um, I'm sorry it's not like super duper duper interesting. It's more like histor historical and um, I don't know, educational I guess. <laughs> But I really, really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed taking the trip out there to see this stuff. And, um, I don't know, I like history. And it was something I really wanted to see, and now I feel like, I feel really good that I saw it now. Um, and if I can find it, I'll post an annotation to Lucidity's video where she talks about um, the Kofun period. So if you want even more information about the Kofunums and the Kofun period, go check that out. It's a really great video. I wish she would continue the Japanese History from Milan series, but um, she stopped after she left Japan, so... <laughs> oh well. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye! -bye.